On the second day of our three to room mass, we have heard about the healing story of our Lord Jesus. And first, it gives us the importance of community prayer and praying over. We know that prayers are very powerful when it has been said not only by one, but the community. And here we see how the pray over, praying over, especially to the one who is sick, and praying over our brothers and sisters. This is a community, an act of community prayer, in which we know when we storm heavens with our prayers to God, pag marami po tayo nagdarasal, mas mabisa, Ang ating dasal. That is why the Holy Mass is a community prayer. That's why when we pray and ask for the intercessions and intentions of the Holy Mass, this is a community prayer. Secondly, we have heard in our gospel reading today the importance of healing. That when we pray, we do not only ask God to heal the physical infirmities or ailments. Hindi lang po yung alisin ng Diyos, yung sakit ng ulo, no, yung nararamdaman natin physically. Pero pinagdarasal natin na hindi lamang ang katawan, kundi ang ating espiritu at diwa. Our mind, our spirit. And which is, this is the complete healing that we are asking God for. That is why when we pray for God's healing recovery, it is a request or asking God to heal us not only body, but our spirit and mind. Because we believe that there is what we call psychosomatic. What happens to the mind happens to the body, what happens to the body, happens to the mind, and happens to the soul. That is why when we pray, we not only pray that our body sickness will be healed, but that we pray that our soul and spirit and mind also be healed. Which is more importantly, we pray for important more importantly, we pray for spiritual healing. Tayo nagdarasal na sana hilumin ng Diyos ang ating mga sugat sa ating puso. Hilumin ng Diyos ang ating mga sakit sa katawan. At ikit sa lahat, ipagkaloob ng Diyos ang ating kalusugan. That every time we pray, we pray for God's complete healing for the body, for the soul, and for our spirit and mind. Amen.